Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Furman Jaffs podcast. Uh, not really a whole lot to talk about this week, uh, but we do want to uh, get with you on some things that are going on at Furman University. Um, the main thing is, of course, Hurricane Helena came through uh, the southeast and just wreaked havoc and really did a lot of destruction everywhere, including at Furman University. The campus is closed until Wednesday, so there's been a lot of cancellations. I want to kind of go over those with you. Of course, this past week, uh, we were at the soccer field on Wednesday night, and the game, the rain just got so heavy, and that men's game was canceled. It's going to be rescheduled. Uh, no word on that right now. The women's game on Friday night also, uh, because of Hurricane Elena, got uh, rained out and rescheduled. Um, Saturday's game for Furman and Sanford at Furman also was rained out due to a hurricane and the devastation that was everywhere um, so we did not get to see the football team play and then of course uh, there was cancellations today uh, for um, soccer and then also on Thursday for soccer uh, women's uh, volleyball got uh, canceled at ETSU that has been rescheduled for the 29th uh, the men's soccer game has been rescheduled for the 8th. Um, and then uh, women's volleyball did play at UNCG uh, this past Saturday night and was able to get the win 3-2. to two. So we want to congratulate the women's uh, Furman volleyball team for uh, getting that first uh, SOCON win. Uh, they are now 7-5 and five and doing very well. Uh, wish them all the best uh, this season and just appreciate everything they do. Of course, right now our thoughts and prayers are with everybody that lost loved ones uh, that are still without power, uh, that are just have lost their houses, their cars, um, just so much devastation out there. And we just uh, here at Furman Jows, uh, our prayers go out to each and every one of you out there. Um, we can't say enough how we are just praying for you, uh, praying for healing, uh, praying for um, some kind of good news to come out of all of this, out of so much bad. Um, I know at the university, uh, we pray that the safety of all the workers there, all the students, um, they're out there trying to clean up the debris, a lot of fallen trees, power lines out everywhere. We pray for our, our linemen, uh, our first responders, all the things that they're going through. Uh, we pray for uh, North Carolina, Western North Carolina, underwater, and you know, I'm, you know, I, I know I'm putting a lot of, uh, of this uh, video, what, what I do of it, on here about, you know, what Helena did, but it, it just, it caused a huge effect on everybody in the Southern Conference, in South Carolina, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, uh, parts of Tennessee and Kentucky. I mean, it, it really caused a mess. And so we just want our thoughts and prayers to go out to them. Uh, and, you know, as much as we love to watch sports, we also want those who watch the sports to be around here. And uh, and we also want them to be able to do it in the safety of their own home. And right now there's a lot of homes, including mine, without power. Uh, we don't know when it's going to come back on. There's a lot of uh, lines that's got to be completely redone. So um, luckily there's a lot of people that's gotten power restored and all that and we want to thank all the churches and uh, shelters that have helped out uh, people like myself and others to be able to function during this time because uh, it could be a week to two weeks depending on uh, what all happens we want to thank all like I said the linemen from all the other states that's come here to help rebuild uh, basically the whole infrastructure and grid and that's a big plus so I just want to thank take the time to thank them thank the administration at Furman for, you know, not putting sports above people's uh, um, wants. And that's no shot at Clemson. Please don't link that because I know they played a game Saturday night, but there was a lot of different circumstances uh, between Furman and Clemson. Uh, Furman's campus is just completely wiped out. Uh, and it's, um, there was a lot of safety concerns. And, you know, it's not uh, – I should say the universities are two different kind of models. So um, Clemson was able to do what they had to do to have the game. And, you know, I was glad to be able to 
watch a game that Saturday night. Trust me, uh, I wasn't complaining one bit that they had a game. It's just Furman's a whole. It was a whole different uh, circumstance. So, uh, just want to. Uh, I'm glad that uh, Samford did not try to make that trip, and was able to be back at their university safely. Um, we just, you know, our prayers go over all the athletes at during this time. Uh, you know, parents, parents of the athletes, you know, praying that their their kids are safe and you know far from home. A lot of them are far from home, and you know, I'm sure that's that's a stress on the parents. So anyway, uh, that's this week's uh, Furman Joust, short but sweet. And uh, we just want to thank everybody out there for watching us each and every week, and thank you for. Uh, being with us, and we want to thank our sponsors, Arden's Burger and Grill in Central South Carolina, Beef and Rib in Westminster, South Carolina, Upstate Physical Therapy in Anderson, South Carolina, Pepsi Cola, The Point RV at Lake Hartwell, and also all of our other sponsors, so many of them, SeekJesusTrueVictory.com, um, just so many, and we just appreciate them and thank them each and every week for what they do. Also, don't forget to watch TGFF Game Day every single Saturday morning on GreenwoodSportsMedia.com. Uh, we have our SoCon, me and SoCon John do our uh, SoCon uh, previews, and uh, it'll begin this week. And uh, just want to thank all of you for fully supporting us here at FermanJoust.com.